Hey you guys! Hey guys! We are here to do a Q&A, but not just any Q&A. We wanted you guys to be a part of it. So, huge thank you to all of you guys who sent videos through my Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, we they're in the link in the description. Yeah. Um, but Mary went on this morning and asked for people to send in some videos of them asking questions that they might like to see in a Q&A. So we're gonna actually, I think this, we got so many questions, we're gonna do this in two parts. This will be the first part and then uh, tune in tomorrow for a continuation of this Q&A as we explore some fun, silly, serious, all kinds of questions that came from you guys. Hi Peter and Mary and Ollie. My name's Katie. I was just wondering what was a favorite date you guys have ever been on? Okay, favorite date. This is like ever, since 2005 to 2019. I, I have something in my mind, but I, I don't know. I want to hear this. It's, what, what yours is. In my mind, the first thing that comes to mind when I hear favorite date would be our day in Chicago most recently. And I feel like it's just because it's fresh in my mind, but this past November we relived our engagement day and like went through the whole day and then we went on the ferris wheel that wasn't even part of our original engagement day but uh that in my mind was just a very sweet memory i'm gonna be lame and just say same what no you're <laughs> right but i'll i'll actually change it slightly and say the original engagement day okay that was pretty cool but do you have any like memories of good dates before we got married i think I mean, I just think of like when we were in high school and going to the jungle gym and just like <laughs> being kids. I mean, we weren't kids. We were in we, high school. We were kids. We were kids. <laughs> but like, just like getting to know each other in fun and silly ways, like going on the jungle gym or going and getting the quarter machine toys, like just, so, yeah. oh, or furniture stores like yeah. we would just walk around furniture stores and like try out all the furniture it was I do that it's almost like a first date that day that we went to Cunningham Falls and then we went to around town and took random pictures yeah that was just a fun shout memory. out to Eric for being our third wheel yeah thanks Eric hi I'm Heidi I was just wondering how does your hospital deal with the MRSA bug? Because where I live in Norway, it's quite a big deal if you get that bug with isolation and the whole shebang. Thanks. So if you've just clicked on this video and you don't know anything about us, I'm Mary. I'm Peter. And we are the Fry Life. And this is Ollie back here. Oh yes. And um, so I have cystic fibrosis, which is a lung disease that I was born with. And so this question is about some of the bacteria that my lungs grow. Um, with cystic fibrosis bacteria, it, it is serious. And because of that, many hospitals use uh, infection prevention, wait, what is it? Infection? Control. Control and prevention. Yeah. So they wanna control the infection and prevent it from going to other people, yeah. specifically cystic fibrosis patients. So. When I'm in the hospital, I'm on full precautions, meaning anybody who walks in... Contact precautions. Oh, thank you. Contact yeah. precautions. There's different like kinds of precautions, so you like, might hear of droplet precaution, right. contact precaution, different... Yeah. Yeah. So any medical personnel who comes into my room, gloves and gown, full gown all the way down to the wrists, gloves, so a fresh gown, and um, my specific hospital uses uh, reusable gowns, so launderable. So um, some hospitals use like a light paper gown. They're just different ways of doing it, but the medical people, gown and glove up, come in my room, unglove and ungown so that any bacteria of mine that got on their gowns stay in my room and don't leave the room. Yeah. So that's how it is for, I, I, I'm guessing it's Pseudomonas and well, really, just probably any bugs for a CF patient. Yeah, so it's interesting. It was a great question in regards to the MRSA that Mary started growing <coughs> about, or at least that she cultured about <coughs> a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. And the interesting thing is that 
that didn't really change any precautions for Mary just because her pseudomonas that she grows is almost I don't it, it's I don't know if you can really compare the two bugs but it's almost a worse bug than the MRSA because when they test her pseudomonas and because they've treated her strain for so long it's resistant to all antibiotics so it's kind of like this super bug that has just cultured and colonized in Mary's lungs and so her growing MRSA was definitely a concern for us and how we treat Mary's lungs and that sort of thing but it it just put into effect the contact precautions that were already in place right hi Peter hi Mary hi Allie my name is Courtney. My question is, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? First of all, cute dog. <laughs> and shout out to that breathing is my superpower shirt. Mm -hmm. That's a good question. I We love where we live, but we could also imagine living somewhere warmer. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Although today is a little bit warmer, although I'm we're, I'm looking out the window and looking at snow. I I think I think if we could like take our life here and my health care and then, like everything involved with it and transport it to like South Carolina, that sounds pretty nice to me. Hi, Peter, Mary, and Ollie. I'm from the UK. My question is, would you ever come back to the UK or come to England? We talk about it. Yes. A and lot. I dream about especially going back to Scotland and like almost reliving our Scotland experience. In and like a shorter period of time. I think we, we got a lot of questions from you guys just today in these videos of what countries have you visited and where would you like to visit and all of that and I think there were a lot of things that we would have loved to do in Scotland yeah. that we didn't get to do um, and one of those things was to go and travel to Germany yeah. um, I know that's not in Scotland I'm just saying because we were already over there like going and seeing other countries <laughs> and uh, yeah so, so, I don't know. Since we weren't able to travel much, and that was just due to my health, while we were in Scotland, maybe sometime in the future, if health allows, maybe we could go back to Scotland, relive and revisit some of our favorite places, and then while we're already in that kind of area of the world, we could visit Germany, England, so many places. We would just love to do that. I'd love to go and visit, and this was part of why we wanted to go to Germany, like I'd love to visit <coughs> like sites of the Protestant Reformation and just the history behind that and yeah. just all across Europe. But it's difficult with the long flight. That's mainly, if it weren't for the long flight, We'd I be think there. we would be <laughs> there and doing those things, but maybe one day. Hi guys, my name is Isabel. And I have a question specifically for you, Ollie, because I was wondering, what is your favorite task in helping Mary? For this one, it's only right that we put him in the center. Okay, Ollie, answer <laughs> the question. Here, I'll sit on your chair. <laughs> um, for those who may not know, Oliver is my service dog. If you want to hear more about the journey to Oliver and coming to get a service dog and that sort of thing, you can watch... <clears throat> Our draw my life video and there's a whole playlist of service dog Oliver type videos but I like this question because it made me think and the first thing that came to mind was actually a recent just a moment that happened and so I think this would be Oliver's answer if he could answer his favorite task and this task that this moment came out of was I don't know a couple of weeks ago I was shopping, we were out in a store, and I started coughing, and he just shifted his body just ever so slightly, but ever so perfectly, to be just perfectly aligned in front of me. And so as I reached down to brace myself as I was hard coughing, he was right there and perfectly aligned. And it was just one of those moments where it was like, this is our, like, this is a team. Yeah. He was in tune with me. He was there and ready. He was focused. He wasn't distracted. And I think 
you know, he's a big dog and he, he loves to like romp about and use his body. And so I think probably being that, that physical, uh, support, thank you, yeah. <laughs> support is probably his favorite task. And it's probably my favorite thing in just the midst of everyday life to see these two in their team, uh, I don't know, team zone where like even to the extent of if we go to a store <gasps> and we're in the parking lot and I go to open Oliver's door, <clears throat> he sits at the other door waiting for Mary to come get him. But if we come home and I open the door, he'll jump out and like just like he, he he loves to be at her side when we are out and about, and I think that's really neat to see. Thank you, Bonzi. <laughs> My name's Christopher. Um, just wanted to ask, being from Scotland, when you were there, what was your favourite part? And what did you miss that you would love to go back and visit? The people. Yes. By we, far. Well, I think... As we look back on our Scotland experience, it's just the interactions we had, not so much the places. Like, castles are cool. They're and awesome. All. Like, that was really <clears throat> cool, but just like the people we met. We, there was one time we were in the train station, and uh, this is probably a, just an awesome memory, but how'd it go down? Well, and I think the thing about this story is that it's it feels very distinctly different than something that would happen in the U.S., and that's what I love about it, is that so I was in my wheelchair, I had a plate of chips, which is french fries, I had a plate of chips on my lap and Peter's wheeling me through the train station and we were in an elevator and a, <laughs> and a lady walked in and I was like, hi there, and she, or wait, what did they say, hiya, or hiya, hiya, whatever it was, um, and I was like, hi, um, would you like a chip, and she was like, oh yes, and she reached right in there and got herself a chip and she's like, oh, it's so good. And we just had this human connection. And of course there's questions about like hygiene and all of that. We're gonna put those, like that section of our brains to the side and take it for what it is. It, just it was savor, a human connection. Savor that oh, moment. it was so cool. And we like wheeled away and we were like, oh, she's so sweet. Oh. So we loved meeting people even though like, <coughs> human connection you get anywhere, any yeah. country, but we just savored the moments we had there in Scotland. Hi, my name is Emily. What is your favorite song to sing or to listen to? Great question, Emily. And we probably have a different answer any day or week or month of our lives, but right now. This last week, including today, blasted it multiple times. There's this cool song we did yesterday at church and the worship team that Mary's part of has been working on this song and it's called Show Us Christ. Oh, it's, it's so good. And it's really cool. It's in many ways a prayer. <coughs> it, we did it kind of as a prayer right before the sermon, which is where I preach and uh, talk about the Bible and its relevance for our lives. And the, it's, it, the one line of the chorus is, Oh God, reveal your glory through the preaching of your word. And like, oh. that was just kind of our prayer. And we, so we, we, we've been blasting that out recently as it's, one of our favorites. It's a really well worded song. Yeah. And I also love the musical part of it too. But like Peter said, every week there's a new song that we're blasting. Yeah. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Like we said, we have a ton more questions. We have more CF questions. Uh, random life questions that we're gonna answer tomorrow. In tomorrow's vlog, we're specifically going to answer some questions about lung transplant. So if that was your question, we'll get to that tomorrow. Thank you guys again for sending these videos. And, and as, as always, always, we, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, Good night. night. Good night, Ollie boy.